cut out so you can. The yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Cutouts, so, just yeah? put it in context for anybody that doesn't know this in around town. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the side of the walls, you get these cutouts, which I guess are designed for trackies. To yeah, they the step in to let. Yeah. But they also suck you in if you're not ready for the right. train. Right. Yeah. So, cut a long story short, I heard the train come in, and you know you're there trying to get the last bit of the fade off, and you look in yeah. there. Yeah. I said, "All right, time to go." So I started running towards the space. Yeah. As I'm running towards the space, you've got core in there. Oh fuck! You know what I'm going to say, right? Yeah. You've got Dyer in there. And they're all in there. And you've got Sufo in there. And there's me. And I'm running to the space. And as I've looked, I said, there's no space for me. There's no space for me. And I've looked. And the trait was the old slammer, Gatwick Express. Uh, I looked. I looked that way. You're making me feel sweaty, bro. That's bro, so cool. I looked. And here's the, here's the cooker, yeah? As I looked, I went, fuck it. Hit the deck. You know, like the little... They've got like a little paving slab to walk down, down the side of the track, right? Yeah. I laid down. Oh, my God. I Killer Keller official .com. <laughs> You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Alright, yes, yes, y'all. To the beat, y'all. Killer Keller Podcast live and direct. Central London or Central is what? Central as you need to be. You sing it with me. <laughs> Big shout out to the regulars, all the sharers and carers, people all around the world, because this ain't just UK. This is uh, international, of course. Everybody's got the television app knows what time it is. Free download, iPhone, Android for your street culture sports. Mini Docs, Docs, you name it, it's all in there, not to mention the mixes and the notorious podcasts that we're involved in right now. Um, big shout out to our sponsors, the Mighty Hoddle Warriors crew over at the Crypto Moon Boys Hideout. That's some NFT business for you. Um, and yo, without question, uh, another one strikes. A huge strike for the podcast, man. I'm beyond stoked. Very excited. <laughs> My fanboy is up to 30 at the moment. Um, South London, we are going right now. FDC SOS to rain. <laughs> Late night is style to the present day. And oh my God, this guy has made a reputation for himself that precedes him. It's Avenger FDC. <laughs> yes, Keller. My guy. Yes, Kells. Nice to be here, brother. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you were so desire, weren't you? No, I'm not going to lie, Keller. I was. <laughs> and you know the worst thing about it is, like I said, it's an honour to be here. Mm. knowing what you're doing there and so on and so forth. And, you know, for me, what it is, sorry. No, no, go, go, go. This is, this is time for flowers. <laughs> Excuse me. This is flowers <laughs> time all round, brother. Because you know what it is for me? Like, as you say that, you've had the legends up in there as far as I'm concerned, in my opinion. You've had mm -hmm. legends up in there. And the fact that you've requested my presence up here... Oh, my guy. ...touches me, brother. brother I'm not even going to lie. It touches me bro, beyond. I think what it is, and that's, this is part of the course of the podcast, is I think some of the unsung don't actually... That realize that 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 due, uh, you know, high regard is yeah. is in order. Like, yeah. it, and I think I think you fall into that category of of real pacemakers mm. of the South yeah. at a time where you know there was a, a, a surgence of activity. Dubs, 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 dubs all bang, over the place. The pieces was killing it. Yeah, of course. And that's the thing, like you said, with the SDC thing and all that stuff. You know. Those guys were killing it. Yeah. We was killing it killing at the time. Do you get what I'm saying? Shout yeah. out to Sir, Curve, mm -hmm. those guys, mm -hmm. Cons. Cons. Big man Cons. Yeah, you got something, you were, just before we were going to record, you understand, we were talking about mm -hmm. some old school traditionalists and Cons definitely did come up oh, in, for sure. in the conversation. For sure. In my opinion, he's very underrated. Mm. You know, his outlines, I think, just incredible. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, as a man who does... Oh, honestly, yeah. incredible. And I didn't know he wrote Zero as well. I didn't know that was his D's as well. He had a few. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, incredible. Amazing. Down at London Bridge, yeah. those pieces. Yeah. Oh, it's just, fantastic. The colour schemes. Yeah. And, don't fuck around. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, of course, Dyer. My, rest in peace. If you don't mind... Go on. Can we just take a moment of silence for my friend, Dyer, please? 100%. If you don't mind. 100%. Everyone, sorry. Let's do so it. So if you've got a drink or a joint, light oh, it. Lighter, lighter. And raise it. it or whatever the case. That's it. 30 Thank seconds you. on the clock, man. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Thank okay. you. Yeah, that yeah. meant a lot to me because, you know, like I said, we talk about graffiti and, you know, FDC and that. And for me, uh, Dyer was a big part of that for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? The amount of missions he we went out on and he sat yeah. and... I wouldn't say schooled me. I'm not going to dig it too much. Miss you, Johnny. <laughs> but you ain't going to dig it too much. <laughs> yeah, you've had your... Well, you know, <laughs> he sat and put me, took me under his wing and we done the thing. Do you know what I mean? So... Yeah. That's massive. Thank um, you. But when I think about that era of FDC, South London, for those that you uh, that don't know, we're talking, you know, the radius of, uh, as far as they wanted to take it, char, uh, yeah. zoned, <laughs> uh, pest. The man, core, core, Supo, J. J, pusher, come yeah, on. Pusher, dude, I mean, the, the list goes on. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you know, the, 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 as as time went on, actually, the... the they, there was a new recruit, and I think you were part of that new recruit, yes, weren't you? Yes, yes. Um, but before that, there was certainly this... this st- still stylistic in, in, in the new recruits, but just they set the bar. And this is what it was. But, you know, like you said, when, you've got, when you're looking up to people like Cons, Dyer, Sir, Curve, whoever, yeah. Yeah. it's very easy to get around. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because you just take the inspiration, yeah. if you love it... It will show. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, man. I love it. So how did it all begin for you, brother? Where did it all start? Let's get into the nuts and bolts of this. Mm-hmm. You know, where did the, where did the graph bug? Well, where you did know the how the graph team goes, because, you know, as a youngster, SE15, Peckham, shout out. <laughs> Old tight. You know what I'm saying? Down them sides. Yeah, you know. I used to see graffiti. And whilst we're here, I'd like to shout out Basic, <laughs> Screamer, Ooh. Mascot, those guys, the Poet, thank you. All those guys area. down in yeah. North Peckham, mm-hmm. when I was down there, those guys used to be incredible, blowing it up. That's right. There was a little, there was a little AstroTurf down there. Mm. Nice to see Name. Shout out to 26. Hold tight, name. My brother. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah, totally. Like, but this was, these, were, these were territorial places. It Do you was, understand what I'm saying? Before this postcode thing, like, Graf had its own... Its own thing and all that. And you yeah. know, like I said back then... I was inspired because, like I said, reading the fonts, the letters, mm. it's mm. inspiring the colours and so on. At that time, I was just doing little bombings, little pens and little whatever. How old did you have been at that time? I was about 12, 13, 14, around that time. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Coming up through school or whatever the case is, very impressionable, as yeah. you can imagine. Yes, do you know yes. what I'm saying? As like, you do, yes. You know? But, yeah, like I said, so down them sides, it was those guys who I saw initially. Then as time went on, you got man like Regret, Noble. Mm. Ooh. Zombie, obviously. Yeah, yeah, Shout yeah. out to the PHM guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cough Neat, and those guys. Yeah, those yeah, guys yeah. were just hammering. Oh it. my god, they they were hammering. I just, you know, Cough and his dub. The, there was uh, you'll know the plate. You know the spot as well as you <laughs> sell, go past Selhurst and you go over the yeah. track and you see that he's done. I think Pies was there that as well. Was, thank you. Yeah. Exactly that. that you was understand? Up, Big up those pies. guys, massive. Yeah. Shout out to all those guys, Vinos. Yeah. Yes. Do you know what I'm saying? All yes. those guys, Funk. But yeah, like I said, it was those guys that inspired me from that perspective. You know, you see SMC, Reg- Reggie and all those guys. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it was when I actually moved up into Croydon. Like I said, I was down in Peckham for a little while, blah, blah, blah. And it was when I moved up to Croydon. I was had my little bombing on the go, as you mm-hmm. can imagine. Mm-hmm. And it was one evening I went to a party. And they was playing some drum and bass. And, we're in there doing the business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the people that I was with said to me, oh, get on the mic, get on the mic. So you can imagine. I was like, oh, thank you. Yeah? Go on there. One, two, one, two. Yeah, Venger on the C on the mic. Venger MC. Stop it. Done that kind of thing. And it took off from dead. And then after that party, I was walking locally in the area. And I see Para. Shout out to Para. Yeah. Donzo. Someone's like, told me this story. Yeah. This happened. Yes, that's right. And you, you were MCing in that. And they said to me, oh, are you Venger? And I was like, yeah. And it just took off from there. From there, we started meeting up. Burning the old Rocky B and all that stuff. Mm, <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Like, mm, mm, and it was just from there. Outlines, racking, this, that, out all the time. And it just went boom. Popped off. Just like that. Do you understand? And like I said, by that time, those guys were already yeah. doing theirs and they yeah. was already high riding, high in it. So when we, well, I and we came along, yeah. With our little madness, that's it. Boom! Shout out to Avon and those guys. Oh, as well. Avon, come on, Vids, old type Vids. vids old In type. fact, big shout out to Vids because he connected the dots. That's the that's the real connect there. That's the bless. That's the hook there. You know, um, you know what I mean, yeah, yeah, totally, and long standing friend as well. <laughs> big <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, from a, from a Sussex young and impressionable Sussex boy mm-hmm. down south. Um, old type Gusto. Old type, uh, all those guys. FKF, yeah, there was Omar. 
crow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just coming up from, just coming up from those areas, those, mm-hmm. that neck of the woods, and discovering like SOS, FDC. Um, yeah, I, yo, it, 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 you, were, you there was a presence there. Like, I mean, your stuff for me, I just it was just so readable. Yeah, it was yeah, yeah. Bang! Like your intention was. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm making my presence felt. And that's the kind of thing, because that's another thing I took from Dyer. Yeah. And this is what I try and say, because, you know, through mm. watching him and going out with those guys or whatever, mm. they always done their things big, boom. Mm. There was no there was no mix-up. You know his D was his D, his I was his I, his E's, whatever it was. Yeah. So when it came to my turn, having watched those guys, it was just applying the science and... Mm. you make, Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. So it's always had that kind of benchmark or barometer to go against. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? But honestly, it's woven in the DNA. You know how this team goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. woven right in. So he was very much... So in the early inceptions of Venger, obviously, you know, we mm-hmm. referred to the, the MC situation and, and, and you integrating from that, that perspective. But mm-hmm. in, in terms of having your name, mm-hmm. how did, where did that come from? I'm not going to lie to you, you know. You see the Venger... When I was younger, I used to watch, you know, we always say, our little favourite cartoons, yeah. Thundercats or whatever it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you know. We used to watch the Dungeons and Dragons. I used to watch the Dungeons and Dragons. Standard. And Venger was always the bad boy. Oh, yeah. Right, you with me now, you with me now. You with me now, you with me now. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sorry. Yes, that's right. And that's where it all kind of jumped off for me, although in the cartoons, you always got fucked up and beat up. Mm-hmm. But do you get yeah. what I'm saying? But Venger was a bad boy. He was a bad boy. Yeah, yeah. And that's where it jumped off for me. Do you understand? And both. So I just awesome. took it and run with it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's so awesome. Mm-hmm. So, who gave you the? Did you write? Did you did you write your own to begin with? Were you given sketches? Who was well, who was influencing funny, you? Because, like I said, from being in Peckham and doing little bombings and little scratchings, just little tags or whatever it was. When I I was obviously trying to the style was always stretching and evolving as we move, isn't it? You yeah. see things, you take things, you're inspired, yeah. whatever the case is, and you try things. But it was when I moved up to Croydon, I sat with Dyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, he took me under his wing. We used to, we used to together. So you'd be sparring around his, all around his house? Mixing, out, dissing, that in, whatever. Do you so get what, what I'm saying? Playing tunes, having a laugh, giggle. That kind of thing. And not like the, uh, the paper comes out, the outlines yeah. come out. We'd be sketching outlines. What was his house the... like? What was the environment like? What was the place like where you would be sketching? And that? You know, like I said, you know how the bedroom set up goes. You know what I'm saying? Decks in the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Set up, little sofa, ganja yeah. going, yeah. whatever. Drrr. That kind of thing. Well, I'm not going to say bohemian, but yeah. you know that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, do you yeah, get what I'm saying? Like, like we're right in there. Do you the get people what I'm used saying? to pass through and stuff. That kind of thing. All yeah. those guys. Bones. Shout. Bones. Oh. So, how, how dare I? Can we have another moment of silence for meth, please? Meth. Thank you. Mm. That means a lot to me, like I said, because it's the first time I've got the opportunity to even... Do you understand? Yeah, I appreciate yeah, yeah. that. Thank you. I know that, and I might add as well, there's, there's been a lot of pre- pressure for you to get this podcast right for oh, yourself. yeah. Things like that. Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? So I want to no, take no, the opportunity. And thank you for that opportunity. Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Oh, good. But like I said, back then, you can imagine it was things like that. Yeah. Mess coming around, cons mm. jumping up, Sir would be there, Curve, whoever... Mm. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Obviously, Core, mm. Mess, um, Pest, Pest, Yep, yeah, that's right. Do you get what I'm saying? It was just an amalgamation of all of us. Was this, was this a daily operation? Was this like you'd be together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That kind of thing. Because you know how that thing goes. You wake up and inadvertently you end up linking up. Yeah. Whether it's two of you link up and through the day you inadvertently... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Racking, drinking, plans get hatched. We're mm-hmm. going here, we're going there. Mm-hmm. Let's go and get some silvers. <laughs> whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Get the old wax oils or whatever. And we was out there just on a constant racking, painting, racking, painting... Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And like I said, you just get embroiled. You know that thing. You get embroiled yeah. in it. And you just run with it, man. And define how 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 deep is the embroilment? How deep is the um, involvement? And how close to the flame do you go? Well, it's a funny thing, you know, because like I said, you know, you got people that paint for many different reasons nowadays. I suppose in this kind of era that we're in, yeah. Instagrams and pictures. Everyone wants a fast like and trying to build the name for themselves fast and so on and so forth. But you know, like I said, back then times there, even up to this day, I take pride. Mm. Avenger means something to me. Yeah. And so on and so forth. Yeah, Do you yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So for me, it was always about building your thing and sticking with it and yeah. rolling with it and trying to develop it rather than 
this microwave thing that everyone seems to be on and get famous and rich and... Microwave thing, God. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> do you understand? We've been in this for a long time, doing anything for a long time, and it's yeah. an evolution, it's a progression. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think a lot of people forget the fact that, you know, uh, time is what you have as the currency, and you can yeah. take all the time you want to build your name because the more deep-rooted your pro promotions are over a period of yeah. decades... Mm -hmm the more your name's remembered. Of course, and things like that. And that's what we play for, longevity, mm. inevitably. Whether it be the pieces themselves, that they stay mm. where they are and they exist for however long, or failing that, just the name. Just an, that's, I, I feel honestly feel that's why people respond so positively to the likes of Cosa, 10 Foot Diet. Yeah. You yeah. know, they, they, don't, yeah. they don't over entertain. Yes. They just stick to what they do. But you know, the worst thing about those guys, I've heard it said so many times, but it's so fucking true, the consistency. Yeah. Of yeah. man like Cos yeah. AC. Yeah. Those things, yeah. you get what I'm saying? The consistency of yeah. the Godfather zombie. Yeah. Which depends how you look at it. King yeah. Cos, our Godfather zombie, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Shout out to Sham. Yeah, old tight Sham, all day. You yes, got to get him on. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. He had his, <laughs> had his tag up on here for a, for a piece. And I, I tell you, I, he came around and I was like, bro, you know, I'm in trouble now. Everyone's going to be asking when you come in. Come on, yeah, do you understand what I'm saying? Big but up yeah, Sam. Those kind of things, do you understand? It's mm. the consistency and the longevity that goes with that for me. Mm. That's what stands out from these guys for me. Yeah, yeah. And that's what creates is, it creates a sense of influence that if they can do it, you can do it too. Yeah. And the science is pretty straightforward. <laughs> And that's what I'm saying. But like I said, the science it would always be straightforward and the appliance of the science is supposed to be straightforward. Yeah. But like I said, I was told a long way time ago, you can't buy your way into heaven, for example. Mm. Right? So with that in mind, what I mean is people, some people do it for a quick thing. Some mm. people do it because they love it and it means something to them and they're mm. representing something or uphold. Do you understand what mm. I'm saying? How did it feel to you? What, how, what side of the fence were, were you on for the age you started to the, 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 um, the level you became? Well, this is the thing. Like I said, by the time it all started, it just starts off with, oh, trying to copy, see, like I said, zombies and WDs and shout out mm. to Chuck 101. He's yeah. another one uh -huh. that inspired me. The 101 uh -huh. star. That's cool, so we oh. talked about, yeah, that... There's some names that just don't get... but They don't as, get the credit. Yeah, because as soon as you say it, it's like, ding, oh, fuck, of course. Like, do you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But it's that kind of thing, like, do you know what I mean? So, like I said, initially at the time, it was co trying to aspire to get your name up and just get a scratch and then name copy and those mm. guys. But it's, like I said, the evolution of it, for me, I only speak for myself, mm. the evolution of it and knowing that my tag meant something to me and it's me and I represent that and that represents mm. me and how it... Do you understand what I'm saying? You start taking pride in what you're doing, son. Yeah, I do. Absolutely. You're fucking right. Uh, a, a commuter curiosity, I think, I'm going to mm -hmm. throw out here because, mm -hmm. you know, this isn't for us. It's for more of a question I think that the Joe Public would ask. Mm -hmm. How far, and do you recognise it, mm -hmm. when you've hit that, you know, eureka place of, yeah, I'm fucking up now? Like, I am up. Like, how, how do you... What, when do you know that you're like, fucking hell, I'm up? And it's, it, it's, I'm just not coming down. This is Well, hot. it's a funny thing, because, you know, if I'm honest with you, and I'm not saying that I'm up there, let me just get that out there, because there's legends. I'm, as talking, we've I'm talking about the late 90s, though. I'm talking about okay, South yeah. in the late 90s when you're, you're, you, you, were, you were about. But you know what it is, the point I was making is, like I said, at the time, we were just doing it for the love and the pride of just getting our name up. And at the time, with that way of thinking, the time just flies and you don't really realise mm. it's something, it's only looking back on it now, I suppose, mm. that you can look back and people can say, oh yeah, Avenger, that piece you've done here, and mm. Avenger, that dub all oh, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's with hindsight. But at the time when you're doing it, mm. we was doing it, I was just doing it for the love and to get my thing and develop my thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you weren't really seeing it in its mass. Not, no, not really, because like I said, like as you've, we've highlighted with this Instagram thing, back then, imagine we were taking all the photos from... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were just doing Oh, yeah, we were talking day. about this earlier. Yes, yes, that's right. It, it, it's something that, <coughs> excuse me, for the so, 90s, yeah. there was certainly no uh, forecast of there being the internet, for starters. Right. Like, the, you know, the internet as we knew it was like... <coughs> I mean, and that makes us sound old, but it's the truth. But let's be known, to, it was only 2011-ish that uh, Instagram came out. So we're Just looking, facts. you know what mm, I mean? So yeah. time flies. And like you say, up until that point, especially in the late 90s, why would you have photos? Oh, there's so many, there were so many trains and things that we did. I remember one time talking about Gusto and Cred and those guys, mm. yeah. We went up to Eastbourne. 
me, Dio, Pest, Core, Gusto. Road Crow. trip. <laughs> and you know one of those ones where the trains weren't even running? Mm. So we had to catch replacement buses and change here and all this stuff, yeah? And it was mad anyway. And we'll cut a long story short, we done a train up there. We got those the old slammers, mm, the old mm. slam doors. Love them doors, bro. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. We all pieced it up. Dio, yeah. Avenger, mm. Course, Supo, whoever. Oh. Gusto, I like Gusto too, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, Gusto yeah. can paint, yeah? yeah Gusto's, he's an artist, you know. He's nice like that, yeah, do you understand? Yeah. And cut a long story short, we done the train, and you can imagine after we left the yard, we went to the beach and we just sat there smoking and mm. waiting for the trains to start running. Mm. So when we woke, woke up, gone to the train station, lo and behold, the first train that come in and we got on, was the train that we'd done the night before. So I just rolled in, went to Gusto, we're like, Whoa! <laughs> But you know also, also in the pocket of the place you just put, that's the other thing. Do you understand? Like, but the point I'm making... Blessed and curses. Even that, we didn't even have the opportunity to take pictures. Yeah. Yeah. we just done it and left it to run. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I do, I do. And we, I suppose with that way of thinking, we were just out there, just doing it, out there. Oh, no problem, it's a train, it will run, it will get seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of thing, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just... it's. And I guess the the spotlight, the focus now actually is finding them people that actually have those photos. Oh, God. Because they're out there. Oh, God. Honestly, and that's the thing, like I was saying, you know, with this technology and, you know, these medias and whatever it is, yeah, these instas and whatever the case, for me, it just allows the... It closes the gap. Mm. Because there are people, like you said, that have got photos and people will post me photos. Do they? Do, yeah. Random things of tags in stations from... 25 years ago, like, mm, remember this feed? Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> like, do you understand what I'm saying? I saw, and this is just from a fan's perspective, mm -hmm. I saw the level, and I don't know where it happened, but I saw the standard in mm. your tag, in your things you're doing. There was certainly, it was certainly the case with a lot of writers mm. of its time, but there was just something happened in the water. Yeah. All of a sudden, like, and you, you, you just really got, and really you know, got flow on. And you know what that was, from, I suppose, it's twofold, because like you said, it was the evolution of lines and developing your technique and so on and so yeah. forth. And that FDC has always had its own look anyway. Yeah. Style, it's very stylistic. Yeah, for sure. So I always adhered to that. But then the other revolution for me was the paint, the hardware we was using. Right. Oh, Talk to me about brother. the kind of uh, racking you were getting up to. What kind well, of paint? Like I said, back in the days, we, we was just on a straight racking, the wax oils, the stone chips, the simonizes, the high coats for the colours, <laughs> grey primers. And I'm not going to lie, you know what I actually, actually love? Is the home, you know, we throw to the home base. Home mm -hmm. bases. Mm -hmm. And they used to sell these decorative paints. Yeah, yeah. I know the ones the you The French mean. country blues and the burger. Oh, my. Oh, really? This different colours. <laughs> I remember them. They're the car plan kind of things. Yes. that were just like me. And then... even the car plans were a bit shit, but... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> do you yeah. know what I'm saying? You yeah. work it and you do what you've got to do with it. Yeah, yeah. But there's things like that. And you know, more recently, since I started painting and getting back into it, the Reveli Revelation... Can I say the brand on the... Yeah, of course you can. Brand on. I've been painting with loop uh -huh. colours. And I've got to tell you... Yeah. That shit's magic. Madness, yeah, yeah. It's magic. Yeah. And even beyond that, you know what's magic for me? A revelation for me was, you know the chrome burners, the six, the 600s? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me, no, Keller. <laughs> I'll tell you what. The first time I bought, the guy said to me, yeah, try that. I took it. I said, yeah, right. Then, then, gone out. And in fact, that evening, I'd done a Virgo 3108. Yeah, tight. Come on. White it trash. This is real white trash. Right. Come on. I done a Virgo that evening, and I tell you something. I put the fat cap on it, and just the first spray, yeah. it felt like a lightsaber, my friend. <laughs> no, it was like, zoom, <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. I was like, don't come too close. Someone's gonna lose a limb. Yo. And I tell you, the fat cap on it, and the cover, I went, whoa. Blast off. So, combo those, it's just magic. It's a revelation. With the chromes, and this is a real psychological one. Mm -hmm. um, because I'm not going to profess that I'm in any way levelled up to, mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to qualify as a conversationalist about this. It's just my experience. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it, it's something addictive about Chrome. Yeah. And I can't work out what it is. You know what it is for me? It's just the standard. Yeah. The uniform, the uniformity yeah. of the Chrome and the black. It's so simple, but it stands alone in it. Yeah. speaks the volumes it needs to. Don't get me wrong, a good piece will always jump off the wall and bite your ass. We know that. Yeah. But a solid chrome... It's like a soldier. That oh. chrome is like a... It's like I say, it's uniform. It's, it's, it's in your face. Have it. Got it, yeah. And to make it worse, you put it in the right spot and it's the right... Oh, God. Game changer. Yeah. 
Oh, it. man. <laughs> Putting it in the right spot. And again, just highlighting. I mean, you weren't just using chromes back in there. You using whites and a, mm -hmm. here and there. But you, um, you had your spots. Like, you were really tactical on where you place track sides. Well, this is the thing as well at the same time, you know, because, you know, obviously we locked down, Croydon was our manor, we locked that down. That was our lines. Yes. SVC owned that, right? Yeah, fucking right. So yeah. with that in mind, obviously, like, you know, like, we could, rec the reconnaissance side of it, we knew the spots to go, the access points, the getaway points, and shout out to Esno, right? I remember Esno. one time, I remember yes. one time, Esno said to us, come, let's go painting, right? Mm. And we was out there painting, doing the thing. Next thing I know, it was dust, dust, dust. We was getting chased by trackies, right? And as we're talking in the theme of getaways and knowing the ways to go, we're running down the line. <coughs> and I've looked. I said, where's Esno? It's only when I've looked up, Esno's climbing up the traffic light. Know that they've got the traffic lights on. Yeah. His, he's climbing up the traffic light, jumped, got to the top of it, jumped across to the next bridge, ran down, and he actually jumped off the bridge and grabbed the lamppost and slid that like a fucking Stop fireman. Stop it. Went, I went, that's the way, guys. Let's go. <laughs> really? And we all followed him. Went, and I looked and went, that was the insight to the SOS. Do you understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, the yeah. smooth operators, uh, single swim. And that's pick. where SOS kicked off. Well, that was the, th no th it's things like that it's that the kind of subscribe to it. Do you yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the reconnaissance and the attacking and the planning that mm. goes into it. Oh, we was military style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is in, who is in SOS for those? Well, you know the worst thing about it, right? I used to have arguments with Dyer about this, right? Because it, obviously it was me that set that, right? Mm. And you know what it was for me? One time we was doing outlines in his house, mm -hmm. if you want the story. We was doing outlines in his house, right? And he's Dyer's, Avengers, this, that's mm -hmm. the other. And, you know, SOS was floating about. We was trying to find a, something to go. It looked nice, but we needed something to go with it. Yeah. And, you know, my mum, back in the day, love you, mum. She listened to Sade and all that stuff. Nice. And no need to ask who's the smooth operator. Because yeah. we was in and out and smooth, silky smooth mm. like that. That's where it jumped off. So that's what SOS stood for. You know what I mean? Smooth operators. But then it evolved. Sink or swim. Yeah. Scum of south. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> what do you want it? So who else was in it? So uh, you, uh, Dyer. Core. Core. Pest. J. Mm-hmm. You know, usual really, you do, suspects. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Then, yeah. like, obviously, swag. Big, Big up, up to swag. swag. He, doesn't get, he's a, he doesn't get yeah. mentioned enough. No, he, I know, he doesn't get enough flowers. We get flowers on this show, but Come I feel on. you. I feel you. Big up swag. Over Shout there. out to swag. Swag yeah. was throwing it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on, all those kind of things. And like I said, it was just a little off, off faction. Do you know what yeah. I mean? A little off gang. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, we used to hold that and go and do the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SOS yeah. it down. Even nowadays, I'm still trying to kind of put it up and just keep it alive. Do you get what I'm saying? Keep it going. But that's beautiful. I would say that in this day and age mm -hmm. of, I mean, we're documenting as we go here. As we go, do you, know yeah. I mean? you know what I mean? But, you know, the, the timeline, I don't know, actually, it's a lot. I was just going somewhere, but then I thought, oh, no, wait a minute, FDC mm -hmm. still holds court. I, I, you know, that's it's fucking, it's, they, they, it's just, it doesn't go. It's a bit, it, it has the same sort of cadence as, as, as it DDS. did back in the, and that's what I was just about to say. Mm. DDS is another one. You could mm. say DDS in the 90s, you could say it today, and it still has the same strength and the same... Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. And that's the, the true pedigree of it for me, or however you want to describe that or word that. That's yeah. the realness yeah. of it. It's, it's integral. It's got integrity. It's got guts. Yeah. And in a real, as crass and commercial as it may sound, it's like mm. graffiti branding. It's like, it's, it's, the work rate, again, is undeniable. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've got some heavy hitters in the crew, then you're away. And that's what I'm saying. You talk about DDS and all that. The heaviest of hitters. Yeah. Teach. Yeah. Oh my God. Zonk. Yeah. Shout out to Sub, all of those. Yeah. I don't even know those guys, but Chew. dig them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legends, yeah. again. Bosch. Mm. Do you understand? So, yeah. yeah, big up all those guys, man. How much did you, how much education did you actually apply to, uh, to your, because we're talking theory here at mm -hmm. the moment, you know, we're talking about history and, mm -hmm. and the, the pioneers and whatnot. Mm -hmm. How much of them did you gross in like information that helped change the, the, the way in which you painted? What, 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 influential, what, influence wise? Were these, were these, was this, a, a, did you research and deve you develop before well, jumping you know, in? Like I said, as we were saying, because like, obviously with the development of the internet, back then it was just magazines and yeah. wild style magazines uh, and so on and so forth, whatever the case. But you know, like I said, the word of mouth thing was a powerful one. Just, if you happen to catch someone in action, mm. just watching how they move and mm. you watch from the distance, but you pick up so much. You know, or like, so you're bump, walking down a trackside and you bump into someone. You'll see of. someone, whatever the case or however it works. Do you understand what I'm mm. saying? 
but my thing is, we all draw, draw influences from everywhere, whoever, mm. whatever, those before us, those whatever. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. And you know, this guy, you know the guys. How common? How folks. common? How common was it to to bump into somebody on trackside? Well, you know, we, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> you know what was funny? I remember one time I went to the yard down in um, Croydon. There was a little, little yard down in Sellers that we used to go to, mm-hmm. right? And I went there on my ones one time. I thought, oh, let me just go there, get a little Virgo going or whatever it was. 3108, big up. Come on, son. So I've gone down there, I'm wrecking it. And I said, yeah, I smoked a little spliff in the corner. I said, yeah, let me get into this place. It's only when I've jumped over the place and I'm hitting this train... I heard a rustle and I heard some noise. Suddenly I look around, I see Sir, I see Durs, I see... Who else was it? Dyer was there. Durs! Those oh, guys. Yo. They all jumped out. I think even Pyro... Was it? Was that the different time? Pyro... No, those are the guys from Bournemouth. Jano, Bauer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Even which Willi- the, which on. then went into... Um, oh, you know, the crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember. What, I can't even remember. NT. What, boom, NT. Got, on, it, got there in yeah, the end. Jesus, Kels. Fuck it. All these letters, all these letters and there's names. There's so much, there's so much, it's endless. <laughs> well, it is endless. And then I have to think to myself, haven't we done with this podcast thing yet? But then there's so many dons. That's the worst thing. Isn't That's it? That's the worst thing. You've got to pay homage to, well, like I said, it depends on who you are. If you've got the real love for it, you pay homage. Yeah. Because you've got, the, like I said, you've got these guys that are running around nowadays, just dissing yeah. people's things. And you can say they, they ain't got no respect or they ain't got the right mentality or whatever it is. Mm. But, you know, not everyone's built the same as we were. Yeah, yeah. In essence, do you understand? In, in good ways and bad ways. I guess the the mm. the, the 2023 model of graffiti mm. is a lot more v- broader. Mm. So it's, it's a lot more opportunities and a lot more. Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Do you get what I'm saying? But like mm. I said, man, mm. you know who's who and what's yeah. what when it's all said and done. Do you get Come what I'm saying? Son. Shout out to you guys. Get some stories in then, son. Come on, we're for well, yeah, one like reason said, only. Let's get some great fucking documented well, stories. Give us some. Give us some. Give us some racking stories. It's not even oh, racking. There was times where I remember one time we was up in Bournemouth, yeah, and um, we woke up, we was drinking, smoking, we was riding around on on these little um, mountain bikes or whatever mm-hmm. it was. Mm-hmm. And you know the way we was mad? It was me, Daya, Corpest. So it was back in those days. Mm-hmm. We actually rode in to the Halfords on the bikes. Yeah, we just <laughs> Simon Isis up the sleeves. Everything. Stone With your chips, bikes inside. In the bikes. We was riding around the aisles. <laughs> and they was like, oh, stop. We said, out there, jackets full. No, like the Gore-Tex jackets full. Uh. Are you mad? Full of... We was off, mate. Things like that. Do you get what I'm saying? And it was just little instances like that where, you know, you're going out the shop and someone would try to stop you and you have to brace a couple of people. But, yeah. you know, genuinely, I didn't try to entangle in all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I tried to get in and smooth operate it. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying generally? But, you know, like I... Oh, there was one time when me and Suits, we went down to, um, shout out to Supo, by the way. Yeah, hold tight. We went down to Wandsworth Common. You know, the, remember the box down at Wandsworth yeah, Common, do, right? Yeah. <laughs> My lord. Yourself, you understand. You, you... You'll know about it, right? Yeah. Cut a long story short. We said, yeah, let's go down on the two man. We've done a little cost take, two man mission. We went down there. Oh my God, that's cold. So, cut a long story short, we've gone down there, wrecked it out. We said, yeah, hopped over the fence, mm. got down there, bam, we're getting busy. Bussing it, bussing it, bussing it. All of a sudden, you know, like you see the, the trackies coming down on their little mm. whatever it is, form of transportation that is, mm. right? They've jumped off and they're chasing us. So we stopped and we started running. Sifo, you'll remember this. Tell me if I'm lying, mm. right? Coming below. As okay. we're running, we're dusting, we're dusting. You know, like on the tracks, you've got like the sleepers or whatever it is. Sleepers on the tracks, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. stones between the sleepers, there was a big hole. <laughs> so as Super's running, he's put his foot down and he's gone down into the... He nearly snapped his leg off at the knee. Well, because, oh, because he fell through the... Ca- through the and then stand. bent him, buckled himself over with his leg. Things like that. Okay. Double back, get him up. Yeah. We was... Oh, do you understand? Yeah. And the funniest thing about that, we got away. Yeah. We went and chilled out. We actually went back and finished off what he was doing, right? <laughs> but that was another one of those occasions where... The camera, we didn't have to... Yeah, yeah. So the next morning, I went home thinking, no, that was nice, that piece was nice. Yeah. And the story that went with it, I was like, yeah, that yeah. was nice. So I had the, one of those little disposable... Kodak things, yeah. So I didn't even sleep that night. We went home and said, yeah, cool. Next morning, I woke up, jumped on the train. I've gone back down. I said, I need a picture of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, it's happened to me twice, with, right? But anyway, got back down here in the morning, daytime. I said, yeah. fuck this. I've jumped on the tracks. I've gone to take the picture. As I'm taking the picture... Jumped onto the tracks? Yeah, okay. daytime, taking the pictures. And as I've, I heard something, and as I've looked up, 
this is like eight, nine in the morning. Yeah. I've looked up and I've seen Supo. Stop it. He's made his way there, but he's on the street side looking over the bridge and taking pictures. I, was, <laughs> I saw it was him, but I thought, oh, God, I jumped in the... Things like that, really you know died, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The amount of things, man. I can tell you another story. There was another time, yeah? Where was we? We was down in Norbury. It was me, Daya, Supo was there, Cor was there, Pest was probably there. And we was painting just the, the bridge just outside Norbury. Yeah. And if you know the Norbury lines, you've got the Gatwick Express. Yes, yes. Then you've got the domestic lines that yes. run domestically. That's right. right. We was there painting at the bridge. Oh, I've God. done a nice thing. Three, three colour fades, yeah. black outline, beautiful, pink. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. So as we're doing the thing, you know, you hear the lines. Rumbling. Yeah. Warm up. I went, nah. So I know down the track, there was those little cutouts so you can... Yeah, yeah, so, so yeah, cutouts, so just yeah? put it in context for anybody that doesn't know this in around Sorry. town. Yeah, yeah, on the side of the walls, you get these cutouts, which I guess are designed for trackies to yeah, the... step in to let, yeah. but they also suck you in if you're not ready for the train, right? Yeah, so cut a long story short, I heard the train come in, and you know, you're there trying to get the last bit of the fade up, and you look looking, yeah. at it, and yeah. I said, All right, time to go. So I started running towards the space, yeah. As I'm running towards the space, you've got core in there. Oh, fuck. you know what I'm gonna say, right? Yeah. You've got Dyer in there. And they're all in there. And you've got Supo in there. And there's me, and I run into the space, and as I've looked, I said, there's no space for me. There's no space for me. And I've looked, and the train, it was the old slammer, Gatwick Express. Oh. I looked. I looked that way. You're making me feel sweaty, bro. That's bro, so cool. I looked, and here's the, here's the cooker, yeah? As I looked, I went, fuck it, hit the deck. You know that little, they've got like a little paving slab to walk down, down the side of the track, right? Yeah. I laid down. Oh my god! And I never, I never forget the sound or the feeling that because you were just like inches away. And I was lying there, and I looked up right, and you know what? I'll never forget it. I saw the steel beast. Really? That's above you. It was the monster. Oh, that's... the things. Super, tell me if I'm lying. Why, oh, man? Tell me I'm lying. That thing fucking chills down me, it, boy. The train was over me, brother. I was lying there like that. And you like you said, where it's going fast, you can feel, you feel it drawing you. You can draw yourself in. Well, I was just like... Oh, did, you, did you think to yourself that, oh, yeah, this is it. I'm fucked. I did. And like I said, the view is something... Oh, you can see the sweat running, running down my face now. I no, I can't see. Yeah, I can see, I can see, I can see. My God, brother. Just that view... I think about it often. I've never forgotten it, and I never will. Is that a psychosomatic thing? Is that psychological? Because like, there's a, that's a like kind of soldier trauma, PTSD. It pro now you put it like that. Now you put it like that. It probably is a. Do you know what I'm saying? But they're the things we go through. Like, have you ever had any others like that? Any other trail of events that? Because that to me sounds like real top of the chain. Like that, that one, but that, as we're talking stories, that was a very extreme level. There I've was... never heard a story like that. Before. Oh, bruv, it's real. Ask any one of those. Ask Core Supo. Get in touch with. Listen, yeah, we're going to make it happen without question. You got PTSD about that. Oh, bruv, it's one of those things. Definitely. Do you sleep with it. Do you, do you wake up with it thinking fuck? Or, or actually, you know, hindsight, you kind of think, well, I put myself in danger. But like I said, the other things we're not. That's what we do, yeah. or did, or that's how it transpired. Obviously, we yeah. don't go out with that intention to have right. a bit of action and a thrill and a spill, but... Yeah, yeah well, you, you, you'd have been meddled if you... Oh, if you I mean, as a, as a soldier oh, hero. I'll tell you, that's no word of a lie. What did they say? What did the guys say when they came out of the cubby hole? We was like, fuck that. That was No, that kind of thing. Everyone's yeah. like dusting themselves off. Oh, shit, that was close. It wasn't as uh, yeah. wasn't it? It was, it was closer <laughs> for me than anyone. I'll fucking tell you oh, that really? much. Really? <laughs> you understand kind of thing. But, you know, we, wow. like I said, at the time when it's happening, you don't really check it. So you just dust yourself and just get back into it, put that yeah. highlight on, finish yeah. the border, we're off. we're off. Yeah, but do you think, like, V, do you think, like, maybe some of this is 2020 where you're actually looking at it as an older man now? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It probably wasn't as... Okay, it was risky, clearly. Mm -hmm. And don't fucking try this at home, kids. Swear down. We don't advocate this shit. It's a nice little story, yeah? To go with your Horlicks and your slippers. At don't night. try this at home. Um, but I'll, I'll say this much. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps in your mind or anybody else's that's gone through something like that, it perpetuates. It, it, as you get older, there are other signals, emotional signals, mm -hmm. that 
you know, you got kids. Like, you don't want your kids doing that. And, and it plays thing. with your head, doesn't it? It plays a lot more with your and head. And that's the thing. And you know, as you say that, as time goes on, time's a beautiful thing. But you know, the stakes, the game doesn't change. The game's always yeah. the game. Yeah. But the stakes may get higher and so on. Like yeah. I said, we've got families now and kids and some of us have grandkids and so yeah. on and so forth, yeah. whatever the case. Like we're old gangsters now. Do you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, I do. So much as we love what we're doing, it's nice to do what you're doing. You've got to kind of yeah. balance it up and so on. You can't be going on, for me personally, much as I love the tracks and that's where it was all at. It's very yeah. rare I'm going to make my way to the tracks now. I'll find somewhere else to paint. I've, or, I've always heard this story of, because um, I've never experienced it, I hope no mm -hmm. out there it is freely gone and done it this is for professionals mm. the show is about professionals uh yeah it, it, the feeling of a train coming mm -hmm. the electricity mm -hmm. the shakes the feeling like mm -hmm. you see they're heating up yeah, the, yeah. The, the, your your mind and your ears must be on super high alert well this is the thing like i said it's all a it's all a buzz isn't it or an, i'm not going to say an addiction but it's all, you're built, built it, it steals you and it hardens you. Yeah. So like I said, so imagine that story I told you about the train. We went through it, we get on with it, but it's the, the next mission comes. And you don't really think it through. You don't really, yeah. No, no, you don't even think it through, but based on what you go through, cool. every stop, do you understand? What happened there, you, have, you take something from it and apply it to the next thing and mm. maybe try and improve your mm. setup or consider, take different, do you understand what I'm saying? It's just, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's nuts. Yeah. It's nuts like that, man. I'm telling you. Is it so? It, so you'll you'll take influence. You'll take stock of what happened before. You reapply it. Okay, well that's not gonna happen next time because we figured there needs to be a, there needs to be some sort of I don't know. I've I've talked about this before, but oh. I'm like yo, like this 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 thing. You know, if you're a successful graffiti writer and you've debugged mm. half of the security of of you know of wherever you're painting, mm -hmm. then surely there should be a, a, a an award or a result of, well, you know, you've you've actually serviced the security. You'd like to think companies. so. Like, you know what I'm saying? We don't get the credit we're due, really. No. You know? <laughs> because in actual fact, they, over a period of time, there's probably been a lot more security and, and advancements in security because mm -hmm. of these trials and errors. And so on and so forth. You know yeah, we used to breach, make enough breaches all the time. And like you said, things have to improve and so on and so forth. So we yeah. should get a lot more credit than we... Do you know what I mean? It's interesting, actually, yeah. Maybe there is that. Maybe there is the... I, I, uh, you know, there is the offset of, yeah, well... At the same time, mm -hmm. you know, security is what it should be. And if it ain't doing it, then you guys are helping facilitate. This is what I'm saying. So it's crazy like that, man. Swings and roundabouts, swings and roundabouts, right? Hey, it's, it's cat and mouse, <laughs> isn't it? And cat and mouse is part of the, that, that's part of life. It's like, I think that's why the podcast does its thing. It's because mm. people love the, they love the uh, the idea, the mission, as you yeah, say, yeah. the the SOS. There's the size levels to it, man. Like I said, when you go, when people go down the road and they see a piece, they might see it and appreciate it and say that piece is nice, mm. or whatever the case. It may be the colours, mm. it may be the letters, it may be the location, but there's always a, a, a backstory to that. What you see is what you see, but a lot more goes into it. Rest in peace, Tease, because he he put us onto this, and it was like, yo, like. The speed in which you do something mm -hmm. ultimately dictates the style itself. Of course. It makes sense. It's part of the... Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But then, like, as you say that, I remember times going out with man like Cos, big up Cos. And I tell you, watching Cos paint is a fucking experience. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. It's an experience. Glack, 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's done. Smooth operator. And it's the smoothest of... Oh, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, technique yeah. is everything. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, come on. Big shout out to Reese as well. Yeah, oh, big God up Reese. Give murder could big up Reese, man. Honestly. Come on, bro. And Aerosol Infantry, which is doing its thing on, big. Uh, on the tees at the moment. Mm. Um, South. South just had this way about... They, he, they, they created f fire. They cre this is the thing. Like I said, don't get me wrong. In my opinion, London in generally generally just holds it down. London is London. Yeah. It holds it down. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? But if you want to break it down like that, yeah, South London holds its own as well at the same yeah. time. You understand? It's just a different look. And that's all it is. Not taking nothing from no one or nothing. We, it, we do us. Do you understand? The, the chisel look. It's almost like diamond cut. Bang, bang. Yeah. You know that. <sighs> yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely. If, if you don't mind, I'll give an honourable mention to... Uh, what's his name? Enrio. Enrio, PA, Paint mm -hmm. Addicts. Mm -hmm. Oh, big. yeah, big up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Big. 
Yeah, that's right. There's some people really doing the yeah, thing man. at the moment. No lie. Um, yeah, Snag, big up Snag. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan one. indeed. No, I'm a fan. Mm. Um, memo. Come on. Now, now, memo. That's going back a bit. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, old school memo. Like, and I know he's still up been doing his thing, mm. but I've got to give the flowers to memo because, like... That block style. Yeah. He put down anywhere, take out anything, anywhere. Yeah. Doof. Yeah, yeah. Arrow pointed it out. You know, blocks are timeless. Yeah, yeah, Timeless. Yeah, yeah. The font, the, the look, whatever. It's just stand, it stands the test of time, yeah. yes. And that's what, as we talk about longevity. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's that. <laughs> Which goes to show that, you know, Memo still talked about now because mm -hmm. you, you can put it up against anything and it's still... And it's still there. Mm -hmm. And South has that. South has that with the diamond cut. That Definitely. Kind of the dub, classic dub that's look. That stylized. Yeah, for real. Definitely. That's you were us. part of that, bro. You were part of that. Well, you were part of my childhood. And I know we're reasonably close to the Even same Even if you age, say things like that, I'm not going to lie. You say things like that, and it that means something to me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Well, because, I'm you know, we do this thing, and we've all, we all tune in and dial in and whatever the case. And, you know, we do things for the reasons we do it. It's, something, it's nothing to some, but to some, it's everything. Yeah. If that. Oh, well, you, I feel that. Yeah. But then I feel that because... Um, I up until doing the podcast, I thought I was the only one that that reveled in just as a, just as an observer. Yeah, the compulsive thing of wanting to know who's on track, wanting to know who's on road, wanting to know who's yeah. on the trains, and and then when this comes alive, like I didn't realize that so many people wanted to yeah, know. Yeah, tuning because like you said, there's always a story to it, whether it's I don't know whichever writer it is or whoever, mm -hmm. people want to know. Yeah. Put a face to the name if they can. Get some insight yeah. or whatever yeah. it is. And that's where you come in and that's what... Oh, my brother. Well, you know, they're going to want more stories. Give us some more stories, brother. Come on. Let's just oh, get it all out. Air it all out, stories, baby. Air you know, it all like, out. Where do we go? Where do we go? <laughs> like, there was enough stories. Like I said, times when we went down to Bournemouth, mash up the yards, the track sides around there, punch-ups, mm -hmm. things like that. Do you get what I'm saying? Was like, there punch-ups? Did we get a lot? Did you get... Was there Was there a lot of, super, you know, superheroes coming along trying to stop you from doing shit? More so, it was that kind of thing. Oh, stop what you're doing and do 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 And, you know me, I try and stay cool and stay out of yeah, it. Yeah. But, you know, you can't vouch for the man you're with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to make mention no names. No, no, no. no one in it. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah. you know, there's a group of people you can't really approach in a certain way. Or yeah. well, if you do approach them, you uh, do it the right Does way. Does that put pressure on you, like on a peer level of, uh, okay, my crew, they're my guys, and yeah, I can only apologise so far because they've already gone down the road. It and does, after and them. thinking back to the time, it probably did. But like I said, where you're young and you're yeah. back then in it, without yeah. the hindsight, you're just, that's my man. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. a penny and for a pound, we're all in. Boof, whatever yeah. the case was, do you get what I'm saying? Safety but, in numbers almost. You fuck with him, you fuck... It's the crew, isn't it? Like, do you yeah. understand? That kind of thing. Would but you like... be looked on differently if you hadn't got involved? Is that Was that a consideration? Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, no yeah, doubt, yeah. to some degree, so whatever degree that goes to. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? But there's, you know how that team goes. Yeah, do you understand yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? But yeah, like I, I said, man, it was the crew. And, yeah. You know what I mean? Crews are, crews are complex, aren't they? Yeah, they're brotherhoods and shit. Yeah. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, one yeah. for all, all for one, and that kind of thing is supposed to be. Yeah. Whether it stand, turns out that way or whatever the case is. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, that's the ethos, isn't it? Like, the theory behind it. So, so anyway, I went on a deviant for no, deviation. Yeah. So, yeah, the, 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 so Bournemouth, for instance, was being, a, a, you know, where you yeah. got to a scrap here and a, things like, like that. Because, you know, like I said up there, those guys were a little bit funny. Like I said, you know, whether it be racist or whatever the case was, mm -hmm. or just didn't understand the London movement or whatever yeah. it is. So, and we've gone down there, all wide and large London. Yeah. Some of them guys weren't ready for it. Yeah. Let's have a bit of resistance. What well, you know, resistance is futile. Space shuttle, <laughs> starship landing. I We're coming London's in. Inside. Clear the airport. We're coming true, brother. Do you know I, what I'm I, I do. I do. Um, yeah, Sussex. You know, and all the mm. fault lines that lead out of yeah, London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. when you talk East Croydon, and then you know you're going to Selhurst. You're going mm -hmm. to Colston South. Then you're into Red Hill, and yeah, you know what I mean, like the the impact that you know a. Uh, a weekend excursion, graffiti excursion was for smaller towns like yeah, that. Yeah, was you, I, I remember it. Like you, sometimes we you'd know just by the absolute tearing damage that you guys had been to Gatwick. <laughs> Devastation, you, but left a right? trail of disaster behind us. Just I by know. examples, you know. Just I'm, I'm thinking off the head of like counties and villages and towns and stuff. Mm -hmm. But you, but the nothing escaped, right? That's London attitude mm -hmm. outside of London. That's right? it. Seek and destroy, we're out there, we see it, mash it, do it. 
yeah. made up, make our presence felt. And you know the worst thing, like I said, you know, a lot of the time we just go out with the intention just to go and do what we're doing. Mm. Not hurt no one, not bother no yeah. one, not nothing. Yeah. But you know, there's always a... Yeah. Someone's got a matter of opinion or... Yeah. That could get contentious every now and again. Yeah, it's true. Because, yeah. because the smaller the town, the more, you know, the more visibility... Yeah. That kind of thing as well. And you know, like I said, you know when you've, when you've got a mission in mind and you've been planning it or whatever it is and you're there ready to execute it. And as you're about to execute it... Something happens. You're like, oi, yeah. you got some brother, some yeah. guy coming yeah. to tell you not to do that. Or yeah. whatever it is, you're yeah. like, bruv. You're picking the wrong... Yeah, d- go, go go somewhere. Go and have a, Take a break. <laughs> go stop a pub fight or something. Something. Because <laughs> you're not going to win here. Like. Let me do... Let, let us do us <laughs> kind of thing. Do you get what I'm saying? So there's always... Yeah. Things that occur along the way, do you know what I mean? Do you think there's been it become a slight a, a more than a, a tolerance to it nowadays? Is it uh, no one will ever like, no, I don't think anyone will ever accept the the bombing aspect of mm. like tearing up like some beautiful like you know village mm. s, you know village town centre or something. I don't. I, I find that hard for the average Joe to understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. But generally speaking, do you think there's a, there's an, a bit more of an understanding? There, as to I reckon it, there is because you know yeah. what it is for me. There was a time where graffiti was frowned upon and, you know, that kind of thing, oh, scrawly, damage, not getting whatever the case mm. is. But now you see graffiti everywhere. Products, mm. this, that, the other, people want graffiti, so on and so mm. forth. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. so it's... A... Do you think they're baiting the bear, though? The idea of, like, having a nice mural and then not accepting that, you know, you're going to see some dubs, you're going to see some... Ta- you, like... I reckon so. Do you get what I'm saying? Because it's always going to be that thing, isn't there, like, you know... Yeah. Oh, they can do it. So can we. Yeah. That kind of thing, isn't there? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it's, no, you're never going to be able to please all the people all the time, are you? That's mm. a fact. It's a fact. That's a fact. So, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a funny one. Yeah, it's a funny one. Mm. Um, your era of graffiti was definitely a, 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 a whole nother, mm. another beast. And the, the, some would say it, it would be an entry hole to a wider criminality. You know I mean, it's almost like a entry drug. There's elements of that, and there always is. Do you get what I'm saying? Because you know, you meet people, and at least one form of bre- illegal activity breeds another, or however you want to look at it. There was yeah. always that. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Ways to make money, so on and so forth. But you know, when you're about to paint and you want to paint, yeah, you might just um, end up just dabbling a little, delving a little bit into the illegal that side yeah. of it, just to facilitate and get back to. It. Do you understand what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So. Mm-hmm. And that's why I've always kind of kept myself. Don't go around making trouble. Yeah. Just want to go out, put my name up, do what I'm doing. Yeah. Thank you. And bye-bye. Yeah, yeah. A big up Gap as well, because Gap, Gappy ranks, man. Like he, gaps. Yeah, hold tight, <laughs> Gap's one. Because he actually said the same thing. It's like, you know, you can keep yourself to yourself to a mm-hmm. point, but, you, but then, you know, you need to eat. Man got to eat, so... A time will come when someone's going to try and infringe upon your space or test yeah. your metal or... Yeah. Some shit. Do you understand what yeah. I'm saying? And yeah. We know how that goes. Yeah. Do you think there is that juice aspect where you've got to kind of... You, at some point, you've got to ensure your position, whether it be in a crew or in a stature? There some... is. But you know the worst thing? Like I said, time and age is a funny thing because, yeah. you know, as time's gone on, I ain't got time to compete with no-one about nothing, for nothing. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. I've put my time in and done my thing. I am where I am, whatever the case is. Yeah. And like I said, you've got these people that are trying to build their name or aspire to... Yeah. Oh, what, aggressively or just... And that's what, aggressively, and they'll try yeah. and skip a few of the... Because, you know, everything's a process. Mm. And these this microwave era now, they want to skip processes. Because it's so instant, they can skip two and three and end up on five, and whatever yeah. the case. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do. Well, we've took step by step, and mm. some of those steps were agonising, and some of them were painful. Some of them were... But we took them. What do you reckon the hardest, the hardest step of it all was? Like, psychologically? What's the hardest... Would it be, for instance, because mm, mm, that's quite a broad question. It is, yeah. I was just trying to break that down. Give yeah. an example. Um, you, you haven't been home for ages. Mm-hmm. You haven't seen your parents. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you, you know, that, that could be one aspect yeah, 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 where yeah. you're having to have that conversation or, mm. you know, and you, they get a knock on the door. Or or further down the line here in 2023, you've got three or more kids and you're having to explain what you might have done. Like, these these emotional steps that yeah. don't actually include graph in it mm. so, so much, but mm. impact on other people. And you know, as you say that, like I said, we've all got kids now, we're big guys and all that stuff, you know. And my, my youngest son, 13, 
obviously he's aware of what's going on. Clever lads. Mm. Comes in my bedroom, whatever. Yeah. Sees the stacks of paint, like yeah. what's that, Dad? Yeah. That kind of thing, you know. And <sighs> for me, it was just me. I took that as an opportunity yeah. to explain to my son. It comes down to doing what you love. Yeah. Always do what you love. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, some people might not understand. This is why I said to my son verbatim, some people might not understand what it is you love, but if you love it and you know what it's about, you do it. Yes, yeah, so, so, Do you so. understand what I'm saying? Because like I said, back in the days, we used to do this graffiti thing. We just looked on as outlaws and so on and so forth. Yeah. But when you look to where graffiti has taken some people yeah. Yeah. through the love and they just yeah. continue doing it despite what people said and who didn't understand it. Yeah. Do you understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You can apply that theory to anything in life. And and to some, it's an organism that just keeps on growing and building and you're contributing. But then this, is again, was what mm-hmm. the podcast is about. It's about giving identity to those those purveyors, the people that yeah. actually contributed stuff. And, OK, we'll never get everybody. We'll, we'll, we'll always get stories that may not match. But the truth yeah. is, like you're saying about, like you're saying about mm. um, telling your son... Mm. One thing that graph does do is it, it's um it's 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 not a spectator support, but you can be a spectator. But you can you be want. a bit spectator yeah. to it. Do you get what yeah. I'm saying? And don't get me wrong, even with that, like I said, you know, because my son's artistic and so on and so forth. He's great with the paper really? and the pen. He really? kills it. And you know, through conversations and we talk, I can tell that he's eager to get into that thing mm-hmm. and so on and so forth. But my thing is, like I said. Maybe at that point, it's for me to take the opportunity to maybe siphon him a bit of it, yeah. but more so the graffiti aspect of it, where it's supposed to be, without the that other side of it. Because it, what? Because it may not be so applicable in a in a in a in a, in a, in a gang. Well, because think about it. Like we were saying, obviously we got kids. We might not want our kids doing what we did. Yeah. Although. It's the artwork, so you're going to encourage the artwork because that's what we did, isn't it? But yeah. at the same time, so I can feed him that side of it and yeah. try and steer him away from the yeah. other Things. messy parts of it. Do you understand mm. what I'm saying? Mm. Now, maybe that's my opportunity and my mm. yeah. task in that situation. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, to yeah, try I and do. show him a way that you can do that, be true to what you love and what you do, yeah. and stay out of the trouble, or whatever the case is. Do you understand? Because there's okay. always a way to do something, isn't there? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, speak, I can only speak for myself. When I got out there, I had a clear idea of who's who, what's what, and there's a certain etiquette that goes with certain things. You can't just go dropping your shit over, man, or whatever the case is, you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. And that's where some people get it twisted nowadays. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. they think, oh, yeah. And even in doing that, going around, they might diss someone, something or something, they, they're making, inadvertently, they think they're making a name for themselves doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you yeah. understand? So I don't know, I don't get it, but... Well, as a fan, um, you know, I, I can only speak as a, as a conduit of uh, of the, the personalities that come in, brother. Mm-hmm. Like, it's it's a fucking pleasure to be talking to you. Oh, brother, I ditto, think, exactly that to you. I think a lot of people are going to be asking the question, what's next for Avenger? What, what's the plans? What's your plans for, for this year and on? You know, the worst thing, like I said, you know, my thing is, you know, just to continue doing what I love. You know, and that is the painting and so on and so forth. And who knows where the painting can take just continue. I've got a few mm. ideas in the pipeline and so on and so forth. Do you get what I'm saying? But yeah. it all con- it all starts with the painting and continues with the painting. Mm. It's all involved. Do you understand? I've done a few commissions. I've been commissioned a few oh, once or twice along fantastic. the way. Yeah, yeah. Nothing too major, but you get a little commission, you do the thing. So I'm available for that too. Yeah, I'm going to put it out there, right? <laughs> so we're, we're obviously, you know, with all the links necessary, yeah, we'll find... a. Uh, means and ways of getting you guys in contact with the V-Man and make sure that if you know you was a fan from back in the day till now, make sure you get, you know, get a map done or a canvas done. My guy is there. Got it. Yeah, we got that, man. The, the shop front is open and uh, up for business. Venger. Fucking Venger in the fucking My building. G, I can't, I, like I said, I don't know if I've said it already, but I'm going to say it again. For me, it's just an honour to have been invited here, Kells. Oh. You're the G. Oh, my brother, thank you. Honestly, school, childhood, fucking... You're, bro, you, oh, I love it. Here we go again, gushing all out. No, shop, I, love too, <laughs> I love you too, girl. I love you too, girl. I love you too, brother. Honestly. <laughs> Lazy O Killer Keller podcast. I like it was out of fashion. You know what I do? Venger inside the place. Sharing is caring, all mm. right? Crime don't pay, but neither do they. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Get people on board. Sharing Killer the content. Vision. Come on, son. <laughs> we are like it was out of fashion. Don't talk to anyone, I wouldn't. You stay lucky, people. Peace. 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 Heavy. I like it.